वेलकम बैक नाउ न्यूज फ्रॉम स्पोर्ट्स Newly elected AIFF Vice President Joki Alamao has stressed that he will work for the development of football. He declared that helping India to qualify for World Cup is his ultimate aim. Alamao, who is in State Urban Development Minister, is also the president of Goa Football Association and I League club Muslipa Churchill Brothers. Jokim Alamao was elected Vice President of the All India Football Federation from the West Zone during the Executive Committee meeting presided by Praful Patel in New Delhi on 29 January. Alamao declared that seeing India play in the World Cup is his sole aim. Our team in India is the World Cup of our work. That is my aim. And that is Kamal Awan. आम ए फुटबॉलाचे मैदानाचे रहा मुझे एम होगा आम ची वर्ल्ड कप आक इंडिया ची टीम पाप आ गई अनि जे आम चे गोइंग चे प्लेयर आक एम बेनिफिट मेर पाप आ गई त्या पास होता हूँ ए फुटबॉलाचे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इंदुआ अनि मार का खबर आम कात्रिया जन्ना बाबाल बेड क्लास सेक्रेटरी हा ये आमी गोइंग पास हो Alamo also pointed out that I League football should not be interrupted from going ahead at Fatoda Stadium for the sake of cricket, as land has been allotted to the State Cricket Association to build their own stadium. Fatoda Nehru Stadium is only for football. For football, I have a ground here. And here, the cricket is our objection. क्रिकेट आज रोल से हम ऑब्जेक्ट किधर देर इस सो मेनी सपोर्टर ऑफ क्रिकेट उनके ऑब्जेक्शन ना पुन लीग डिस्टर्ब्स आप आते हैं पुन तो रास्ता ना आधा हमने सरकारन लैंड आपका गोवा गोवा क्रिकेट आसुचन अंदिला दे विल बिल्ड आई दे ओन क्रिकेट आओ ओन स्टेडियम विल बी दे फॉर द फुटबॉल इन नेवी स्� St. Rita High School from Kolwaya and Mustifan High School from Panji advanced into second round of the inter-school under-16 Germania cricket tournament. The matches were played at Panjim Jimkana's cricket ground on Tuesday. In the first match of the day, St. Rita's High School thrashed Auxilium High School from Panaji by 58 runs. Auxilium won the toss and put St. Rita to bat first. St. Rita piled up a total of 97 runs for the loss of 7 wickets from the allotted 20 overs. S. Kautankar was impressive with bat, scoring 55 runs. Auxilium bowlers M. Kumbar and Satish More picked two wickets each. When Auxilium came to bat, they were bundled out for 39 runs in 11.2 overs. Rajiv Zoshi with 15 runs was the only batsman to reach double figure. St. Rita bowlers Paresh Agarwadekar and Sai Shete did most of the damage with the ball. Paresh grabbed five wickets while Sai picked up four wickets. In another match, Mustifand High School from Panaji defeated Hedgevar High School from Panaji by five runs. Our sports reporter from Panaji, Patterson Fernandez, with the video journalist Shan. Gomantak, Tarun Bharan, and Sunaparan moved into the quarterfinals of the third Vijayagad Intermedia Cricket Tournament on Tuesday. The tournament is organized by the Sports Journalist Association of Goa at Kampal. In the first match of the day, Gomantak beat Durdashan by 8 wickets. Batting first, Durdashan posted a total of 67 runs all out. Rajesh was the top scorer with 18 runs. Vishal Rane picked up 4 wickets for Gomantak, who in that chase scored 68 runs for the loss of only 2 wickets. Promote did a decent job with the bat, remaining not out on 36 runs. In the next match, Tarun Bharat defeated Times of India by 8 wickets. Times of India set up a total of 85 runs for the loss of 5 wickets. TK Sharma with 36 runs batted well for Times of India. Tarun Bharat surpassed the total scoring 87 runs for the loss of 2 wickets. In the last fixture of the day, Sunapran gained a walkover as their opponent's information department failed to report for the match. Our sports reporter from Kampal, Patterson Fernandez with video journalist Sean. And now a look at the top stories once again. Advocates suspect conspiracy in the suspension of District and Session Judge Anuja Falvistai. 
Anuja Prabhu Desai, eminent lawyers unhappy with the High Court decision to suspend the judge on the charges of irregularities. CM refuses any talks on mother with Karnataka says government will draw 50 cooperative societies to extend government scheme to control price rise. Forest Department charges Rajendra Kerkar with abandonment to crime in Kerry tiger killing case. Kerkar rubbishes allegations says Forest Department is politically motivated. Citizen journalist exposes negligence of PWD department shows how department takes three days to repair a pipeline. Newly elected AIFF Vice President Roki Alema wants to help India qualify for Football World Cup. And St. Rita High School from Kolwai and Mustafan High School from Panji and the second round of Germania Cricket Tournament. And with this, we come to an end of this bulletin. Stay tuned to Prudent Media. Take care and goodbye.